Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1,269 of our trek, and it is time for Meditation Monday. Taking time to relax, refocus, and reprioritize our lives is crucial in order to create a living legacy. For you, it may be just a time alone for quiet reflection, or you may utilize some sort of structured meditation practices. In my life, meditation includes reading and reflecting on God's Word and in prayer. It is the time to renew my mind, refocus on what is most important, and making sure that I am nurturing my soul, mind, and body. As you come along with me on our Trek Each Meditation Monday, it is my hope and prayer that you too will experience a time of reflection and renewing of your mind. In our meditation today, let us consider God's Great Grace, Part 1. This Meditation Monday, we will learn what the Apostle Peter had to say about God's grace, And next Monday, we will learn God's grace through the prophet Daniel. It is only by God's grace that we can amount to anything. It reminds me of John Bradford, the English reformer who lived between 1910 and 1955. It was recorded that he remarked, as he saw a crowd of condemned criminals being led to execution, there, but by the grace of God, am I. Another story is about John Newton, who is best known as the composer of Amazing Grace, Encapsulating the amazing grace of God in some of his last words as he lay dying in 1807, he declared, I am a great sinner, but Christ is a great Savior. In today's New Testament passage, Peter speaks about the kindness of God that is his grace. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10 tells us, In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while... He will restore, support, and strengthen you, and He will place you on a firm foundation. How should you respond to God's grace? Grace is a gift, and the appropriate response to a gift is thanksgiving. Praise is a supreme form of thanksgiving, and therefore praise and worship is the appropriate response to the God of all grace. Let's back up a bit in our scriptures and read Psalm chapter 134, verses 1 through 3. Oh, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who serve at night in the house of the Lord. Lift your hands toward the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord, who made the heaven and earth, bless you from Jerusalem. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1-14 through 14 shows us how we are to respond to God's grace, especially when we are in a position of authority over others. The first step is, you must humble yourself, as described in verses 2-6. through 6. Care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you can get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of never-ending glory and honor. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders, and all of you. Dress yourself in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourself under the mighty power of God, and at the right time, He will lift you up in honor. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. There is a strong link between humility and grace. Because grace is free, the only appropriate response to grace is humility. The second point is, you must live carefree before God. Peter writes in verse 7, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. He ends with the words in verse 14, Greet each other with a kiss of love. Peace be with all of you who are in Christ. God loves you. He is the God of all grace. You can cast all your cares on Him. There is nothing too big or too small to hand over to God. Thomas Akimpris wrote, They travel lightly who God's grace carries. Staying peaceful is evidence that you have humbled yourself before God and you trust Him to do what needs to be done. And our third point is, you must stay alert. Keep a cool head. 
Peter exhorts us in verses 8 through 11, stay alert. Watch out for the great enemy, the devil. He prowls around you like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that the family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering as you are. The qualities commended in this passage are very different from the values of our culture. The cult of youth and beauty is replaced by the emphasis of valuing and submitting to the elderly and the wise. Self-promotion is replaced with humility. You are promised God's help in dealing with the struggles of stress and worry. Instead of pursuing instant gratification, you are called to be self-controlled and alert. These are not easy things to do, but if you do them, you will stand firm and resist the devil. Well, next Meditation Monday, we will focus on how God's grace provided for the prophet Daniel. And that's our wrap for today's meditation. Next week, we will continue our track on Meditation Monday as we take time to reflect on what is most important in creating our living legacy. On tomorrow's trek, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you for joining me for this trek that we call life. And encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,268 daily treks or read the daily journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life... Together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey. And then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.